This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Susan Faulkner, Evan, and Darian, and that's her FEI horse. They're competing in Intermediary 1. And we're doing our warm-up walk, and we're playing with two steps. So she's connecting them two steps on the right rein, then switching over to two steps on the left rein. Good. Now we're going to use this concept to bring him to a halt, keeping him connected. So as you bring him to a walk, you want to make sure that his nose stays where you want it and he sits down because he is doing I-1. And you can feel when he gets ready to walk, he, there, good, good. It's all right if he backs up at first. Good, because his back was up. Did you feel it? Now the trick is when he walks away, making sure that his back stays up. Because at your level, it's all the back and engagement now. Good. Yep, you can feel he's just a little locked up here. So when he gets locked up, shorten your outside rein for that one step or whichever rein. Yep, get him to step up into the rein. There. There he's lifting his back. And then ask him to walk. Praise him a lot. Good. Now tell me when he disconnects because that's when you're going to do that. Oh boy, he's, he's carrying you different, isn't he? Very nice. That's it. You feel him starting to drop? As soon as you feel that little, that's exactly right, it's a half halt. Remember the half halt? You breathe it into your tummy, lift up your chest, bring your shoulder blades back, adjust your seat and stretch into your lower legs. Praise him a lot because he's really lifting his back there. Do you feel it? This is the most he's lifted his back in a warm up for us. Very nice. Good, take your time. That's it. Now you feel when you come to a halt, he'll bump up against your hand just a little and he thinks he's supposed to back there, I know that. So you'll have to play with suppling his jaw in the halt with the, if you can do it with him backing, not backing, but he might back at first. Good, now this time when you come to the halt, do the half halt, hold with your lower legs just for that second and see if you can get him to release his jaw. That's it, good, good. And you can feel where he locks up there, right? Good. It's all right. He's thinking about it now. Now when he walks off, he still has to stay under your seat. That's it. You felt him disconnect a little, didn't you? So that's where you, when you take off in the walk, you might have to shorten your rein a little bit. And you're going to feel like he steps with his back feet first. Praise him a lot. There, look, he's starting to use his neck different. Do you feel it? He's stretching right where the base of your hands are. Good. Prepare for another walk. And remember, it's 10 seconds. So give him 10 seconds to get prepared. See if you can get him to sit. Was he sitting? Okay, that's good. You're just becoming aware. Because he couldn't sit last year at all. So that's very nice. He was under you when you stepped off. Did you feel that? Very good. So now we're just going to play with walk, halt, seeing if you can keep him connected from your seat. And then we're going to lead it up to the other things. I expect him to dance a little bit. Today and came to us with a few issues we've been working through. You'll see him. We've got him back in a snaffle. The first year he was pulling Susan out of the saddle, rearing straight up on his back feet and bolting. So he had a little bit of anxiety that we worked him through and some minus issues there. Oh, nice! Look, his back is up. Take your time. Now, when you get there, you'll find your tendency is going to be to almost seesaw. So you want to think, what can you do to make it so that it's slower without looking like a seesaw? Like as you come to the halt, you'll start suppling three times on one rein or three times on the other. And see if you can find another way to come in and out of the canter, the walk, I mean, the halt, whatever transition. So it doesn't look like, because you're barely touching the reins, which would be ideal if he would respond to it. That's it. Tell, that's good. Praise him. Good. That's it. Shorten the steps to the walk just before the walk. Shorten the steps to the walk right before the halt, I mean. Slower. Slower. Sl there. There. Get him comfortable in that space. That's it. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. So you're going to just play with slowing down the steps to the walk right before the halt so he gets comfortable in that space staying connected. Oh, nice. Nice. Did you feel the difference? Now he's got to feel the same way when you go into the walk. Yep, and he's not going to know at first what to do. That's all right. Yep, take your time. That's all right. Again, he's not being bad. Good, good. Praise him a lot. 
That's it. There, he dropped you right there. You felt it too, didn't you? So as soon as he dropped it, you just slowly bring him back. Good boy. That's it. Okay, reconnect him again. Slow down the steps of the walk. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Good. That's it. That's it. Now whenever you feel his shoulder drop, because you're really becoming aware of that, is when you're going to do the same thing. You're just doing a half halt. There. He's trying to ha he's trying to do what you want him to do. He's not sure. Good boy. Feel how up he is under you? That's right. Good. Praise him. Good. Tell me when he drops his shoulder. Yeah, you can feel he's at, you feel something stuck somewhere? That's where you've got to get him more active behind. Because you can feel something's not quite right, right? That's where you're going to think slow steps in the walk. There, feel him pick you up different? So now, right, tell me when you feel him drop it again. Good, Susan. I feel like he's really dropping, but just less engaged. That's right. That's exactly right. So when you feel that, that's when you ask him for more because, you know, he's doing intermediate one. So now it's all about keeping him on the rein from behind and feeling the engagement and getting him comfortable. Oh, very nice. And getting him comfortable with it. Good boy. Good boy. Very nice. And add, remember to add the breathing in for your half halt so it becomes a habit and breathing out when it comes through. That's it. You can go into a trot. We're going to feel the same thing at the trot, and he'll probably start, you know, thinking a little passage pee off. Good boy.